here on our inspirational and motivational show. This space is dedicated to adult women who come together to have authentic and intelligent conversations about a variety of topics that matter to us all. Our goal is to inform, entertain, and bring a positive message to society. So settle in and get ready to enjoy some candid and thought-provoking conversations and join us as we explore new ideas and perspectives. Let's get started. Ben, everywhere I look, you're not where I need you to be. It's not my imagination. Now, where the hell do you go every day? To the bathroom, sir. To the bathroom. To the damn bathroom. For 40 minutes a day? What are you doing there? We're T-minus zero here. I put a lot of faith in you. There's no bathroom for me here. What do you mean there's no bathroom for you there here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. And I can't use one of the handy bikes. Picture that, Mr. Harrison. My uniform. Skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. Excuse me, if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day. Hi, and I have the definition of discrimination. It's the unjust the treatment of different challenges that people may have or their race or their color or their ethnicity, their ages, their sex, and their disabilities. I like this topic. Yeah, this is our first yes. topic for today, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, um, I can start off with uh, one time I went for a job interview um, in New York and I worked in IT. And I was going for a training position. And my last name, which is sort of Asian sounding, but it's also English, um, I guess it got them confused. And when I walked in, they were calling my name. And I'm saying, I'm right here, I'm right here. And they still looked over me and looked around the rest of the people and still you know, calling my name, and I'm, I'm here, my name is Nicole, and the, they, they still were like, well, I don't think the person is here. And I said, okay, it's time to go, I'm, I'm, I just left, you know? And it's interesting you mentioned New York, because I had a similar experience. I got a job in Staten Island, and I lived in Philadelphia at the time, so I called apartments in Staten Island, mm -hmm. you know, to, get, to go see, I had to find a place to live. And so I made an appointment, and I said, okay, I can be there in an hour. I drove there, and I get there, and she says, what's your name? I said, I'm Brenda Christian. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any apartments. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's wow. horrible. Yeah. 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 But that was very common on Staten Island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Very, very common. I lived there for a while, and it was very common. Well, mate. Thank you. It's just a 
hard because you don't think in this time of day mm -hmm. that we're going to have to go through that. Right. You yes. know? You, I thought we were over with that. You know, we can move forward now. Right. So it, it was a little disheartening. But there's a certain mentality of people that think that way, and I don't think they'll ever change. Mm -hmm. No. I grew up <clears throat> in Bergen County, in Hackensack, New Jersey, which is the county seat, and our schools were melting pots. We had all different religions, different nationalities. So we grew up as children being the same with one another. Mm -hmm. Not saying our parents or grandparents thought that way, but we right. kind of dismissed mm -hmm. maybe if we had a prejudiced parent or grandparent. We dismissed what they said because we knew that we are all the same. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Do you think because we're women that we're discriminated against? As well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, I think so. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Has anybody experienced any? I have. When I was really young, I did showroom modeling, and you had some men that would try to get fresh mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So definitely, yes. And a lot of times, salaries aren't equivalent, aren't well, the same, because absolutely. men and women doing the same job, the men get paid higher salaries than the women, because they're women. I don't know about now, nowadays, if it's still that way, but it used to be that way, it's and that's still, still I think it's still, I think it's still that way, because my daughter-in-law is a computer engineer for Microsoft, and she's a supervisor, mm -hmm. and she had to fight to get the same salary as the men in her company that were there a shorter time than her, and I give her credit. Mm -hmm. She said, either you match it or I'm gone. Good for her. Good for her. Yeah. So she, she's nervy, which is good. I probably would have stayed, if it was me, I would have stayed quiet mm -hmm. and not said anything and just said, well, okay, I'm thankful I have a job. Right. Yeah. Right. You got to put on man pants. <laughs> Has anybody had a problem with age discrimination? No, not really. No. Kind of when I got uh, here, they called me a little young. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, Miss Village, the other way around. Miss Village, Nicole? Yeah. Yeah, that's common. And yeah. Because yeah. when I first moved here, I was 55. Mm -hmm. And I was told at certain functions, go home, you're too young to be here. Wow. Oh, yeah. And I was like, but I live here. Mm -hmm. I'm 55. Yeah. Now they tell me, go home, you're too old. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell you that. <laughs> Well, I had discrimination for, for age because of a job, and you know between your job, your color, and being being black, I think the whole kitten was no, yeah. a bit much, right. you know. But I was 62 looking for a job, wow. um, and you're overqualified, you know, and they don't even want to interview you. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, overqualification. Yes, yes. Well, I'm still in the workforce. And uh, I work in the industry, I was an administrator, and now I'm just doing a smaller job. But the people who hired me knew of my reputation. We worked together in years past, so that had a lot to do with why I stepped in the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe if I was just off the street, they right. would have dismissed me exactly. for the age, but um, it didn't happen. I worked in um, fashion also in IT and that company you had to everyone had to wear black. So everybody looked the same. You oh. thought everybody they was looked the same, same. right? <laughs> and one day I'm walking the PR department was in the basement and I'm walking by and the head of PR says, I need you, I need you. I said, okay, is your computer broken? And he goes, No, I need this office cleaned. And I said, Oh, oh. Oh, you know, no. so he he didn't expect me to be the person to fix his computer, but right. to clean his office. But we all wore black, right? Right, right. You know, yeah. right. So depends on where you go, who you deal with. You know. Mm -hmm. Do you think the guys have better position than the women? Well, I had a situation where I was the only female director among six directors and uh, I was doing a great job I got a great review 
But you know what? I had to get home and take care of the children, take them out of daycare at the, when it closed at 6 o'clock. They didn't go home to have to take their children out of daycare. Mm. And um, I really felt bad about that. But I had to leave. Be, being a woman, the woman picks the child from daycare, the woman goes home and fe yes. feeds oh, the children, yeah. helps Bleeding. them with their homework. So ladies, talking about discrimination against women, it, it provokes feelings. What kind of feelings does it provoke? What do you think? Well, I, in my case, I, I feel like I was discriminated against by my husband mm -hmm. because he wanted me to stay home and not work. He prepared barefoot and pregnant, home with the kids, and that was it. And um, if dinner wasn't on the table, when he came home from work, that was like the end of the world. Mm -hmm. um, one day, um, my neighbor was over, and we were sitting at the kitchen table talking, and he came in from work, and dinner was not on the table. Wow. He walked right past both of us, didn't say hello or anything, didn't talk to me for three days. Well, my husband tried that, but it didn't fly. <laughs> <laughs> but you think it's because the society? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and national ethnicity, nationality, mm -hmm. because in certain nationalities, the woman was at home, child rearing, mm -hmm. keeping the house and cooking, and the husband was the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. But it oh, exactly. has been changing, and uh, some people um, are reluctant to change. But. Until the Second World War changed everything, men went to war. Women went out to work in the factories. It was known as Rosie the Riveter. Yes. And everything changed. People realized how capable women are. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's changed today much? I know. I, I think, think so. With it. I, think I think so. so. Yeah. It was like Why? A fashion type of thing. Why do you think so? I think so because I see with my children. I have a son and a daughter. My daughter is a professor. She teaches nursing. And my son-in-law is a chiropractor. And they divide the duties, you know, with the cooking, the cleaning, picking the kids up on yeah. their schedule. Mm -hmm. They plan it for the week. My son and my daughter-in-law, they both have good jobs, mm -hmm. and they also rotate. Now my son can't do as much because he doesn't get home till late, but on the weekends he gives his wife a break. He will clean the house, mm -hmm. or he'll do the food shopping. Good I think man. times have changed. Yes. Men yes. have realized that, you know, my wife is working full time, and we have to be a joint force or it's going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. My time... I stayed home. My husband expected me to cook, clean, take care of the yeah. kids. My in-laws didn't accept me because I was redhead, freckled, <laughs> blue-eyed. And up to the day I got married, they kept saying, you're a nice girl, but you're not Italian. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. And also with the internet and the technology, people get to see everyone in different roles now and it's, uh -huh. and it's progressed even faster. I guess since the pandemic with TikTok and Instagram, uh, men get to see women in different roles mm -hmm. and they've taken on different roles also. Absolutely. So if you could change the world, how do you think you would change it? What do you think you would do if you could possibly wave the magic wand and fix it? Send what do you out. say? I think we put women in charge and let them go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would say. How about for the children, though, the family dynamic about both parents not being home with the kids? What do you think pros and cons of this is for overall, generational? They, they miss out on the cultures, too. Mm -hmm. I think the children would miss out on the culture being progressed or moved forward into the next generation. But you got to plan ahead and so if you divide the time between the husband and the wife, each gets to spend time with them and give them an input so when they develop their personalities, hopefully they're taking the, the good features of each personality. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you, if I'm going to spend time with a child, I want that child to be kind open-minded mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
make the best of things. Right. The, you know, upside, upside the positive. Right, right, right. But you, they don't know that right away. They this is a very complicated world, so you have to pump that into them. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, now uh, both parents have to work just to survive, just to make ends meet. Right. Right. And the kids are left with sitters or daycare or yeah. whatever, and the children suffer. Even though that's a great idea to share and spend time with them, it's not often possible, mm -hmm. and that's very sad. Although my husband was that way and wanted me home with the kids and didn't want me to work, um, I was very fortunate that I had the time home with my children. So there were just pros and cons. But I think you can make quality time with even the little bit of time that you have. Yeah. You know, so I mean, if, if the kids like to play video games, the mom and cop got to sit down there and play games with them right. too. Mm -hmm. And they learn about each other, they interact. And you know, I think that that works as well. We have to do what we have to do. You know, I agree with you. I think parents spend, I know for me being a stay-at-home mom, mm -hmm. you're with the kids all day long and you kind of say, oh, watch TV. Now the parents, I think, are spending more quality time mm -hmm. with their children than I did with mine. Like the weekends, they plan little trips and, mm -hmm. you know, I think they're spending, most parents, not all, but most are spending more quality time because they're planning it out. I was more like a wing and a prayer, okay, <laughs> today we'll do this, tomorrow we'll do that. And, no, I think you're right. Uh, I think children are used to now going to daycare. And they realize that maybe mom and dad can't do anything special with them in the evening, but we'll plan things on weekends. Yes. Yeah. 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 So Saturday what can women do that men can't as far as changing things? What do you think? What would you say to the people that discriminated against you? Well, oh. <laughs> oh, good question. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. can't say it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? It's more women here, though. It's only me. Yeah. Why? I would have said to that guy, I have on a Jones New York suit. I don't know where you think I would clean this office with. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I think even no matter what you say, I think mm -hmm. it's already pre-thought in your brain. Yes. So I don't think it matter. It would matter what you say. Right. He should have been able to look at you and see that you were not the cleaning lady. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he wasn't because he had a mindset that oh she's black, therefore she must be the cleaning, the cleaning lady. lady. Mm -hmm. exactly. And so I think that's what we have. We're up against. We have to break that yeah. so that you know I can still be. I could be president if I want to. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and and we, I think we as women though have to really push ourselves mm -hmm. and remember that mm -hmm. because you know that old thinking is still there. It's uh, still there. Uh, but we have, we you know, we, you know we're, we're better than that. Mm -hmm. Well, so how do you reclaim you yourself? How do you reclaim yourself? What do you think? Reclaim? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How do you take back that feeling of being diminished? Take back your power. Take back your your yeah. dignity. Well, I always think if someone is being mean or discriminating, say against me, I tell myself I'm taking it from where it comes. Mm -hmm. I'm better than that person. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's right. They can carry on, say whatever they have to say. I'm not going to let it affect me because I'm better than that. Mm -hmm. I don't have to take this action Correct. from this person. Mm -hmm. And yeah, get through it. Yeah, I think we have to nurture ourselves and remember we are the best version of ourselves that we can be mm -hmm. and and think you know positive about yourself and I think when you do that it all comes together mm -hmm. also years ago everybody made fun of everybody mm -hmm. and it wasn't taken seriously, seriously. Yeah. Right. like today so like the mama jokes and things like that right. so everything to diminish us as women, right? Mm -hmm. But we goals. allowed it, yes. And I think that's the difference. Mm -hmm. We're now not going to tolerate it, right? Mm -hmm. How about the way you feel men look at TikTok videos of other women? Um, do you feel like a comparison to who you are to what they see on TV, YouTube, any any platform? You feel like you get discriminated on based on what you should look like what the ex expectations are. Be honest with you, I think it's the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can't yeah. generalize and say all men feel that way. No. Right. right. No. Yeah, but if, if, 
if you know your partner truly loves you mm -hmm. and you have self-esteem, he can look at all the women he wants to. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. just a natural male reflex right. to be curious or whatever. Just mm -hmm. like if they're going to put muscle-bound men on Facebook, I'm looking and saying, wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it, it shouldn't make you feel bad because you should have confidence in your own self. Right. And if you have a good relationship, something like that is not going to tear it apart. As long as they don't say to you, well, look right. at this woman, oh, why can't you look like that? That's then that's you have the real, story. Yeah, well, that's real evaluate. But as long as they're on, on your side, like when I was first married, I was lucky. My husband took my side mm -hmm. with my in-laws, mm -hmm. and he said, I'm marrying her. We will follow our, you know, the Italian tradition, her tradition, and we will make our own tradition. Good. If you don't like her, you don't have to come to our home, but I am marrying her, and that's the end of it. And they dropped it. And no, they kept it up for a few years. Wow. But eventually, the sad part is my mother-in-law, my husband passed away. My in-laws were all moving to Florida. My mother-in-law didn't want to go. And who did she call to live with? The non-Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies. I had a great time oh, here yeah. with Pajama Talk. We all had some really interesting topics. We are on YouTube. We are one... RG. And we welcome all your comments, your thoughts, and the comics, a comment se section down there. And uh, we hope to see you again. Leave us some good <laughs> Please join us next time on Pajama Talk. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leave us some good comments. Let us know what we did wrong, all right? So we know how to correct it. Right. And watch us. Thank you. And thanks for being here. And don't forget to go to YouTube. We are one RG. And let us know what you think. I hope you enjoyed our show today. And thanks for being here. Make sure to go to We Are One RG on YouTube. Send us your comments and thoughts. Bye, -bye everyone. See you Bye. soon. See you soon. Thank you. Mein Long? Where to? Peace first. Oh, it's okay. I'll take you. No, it's not okay. He was next. Thank you for joining us today on Pajama Talk. It has been a pleasure to share this time with you and explore these fascinating ideas together. Before we say goodbye, we invite you to follow us on our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. There, you can keep up to date on our upcoming episodes and access additional content. We would love to receive your comments and know what topics you would like us to discuss in future programs. Remember, we are live through our platforms on many occasions and your participation is essential to us. We want you to be part of our audience from anywhere in the world. Until next time, we thank you for being a part of Pajama Talk.